9 secrets to help you look more muscular. Keep in mind, this is Fit Guy Fashion 101, but you do not have to be someone who goes to the gym if you want to implement these tips. I'm going to be giving you easy tips, easy hacks, but most importantly, I'm going to give you a Fashion 101. I'm going to tell you some mistakes that a lot of buff guys make when it comes to dressing. So let's get straight to it. Secret number one, your tailor is your best friend. Go find yourself a tailor and I'll tell you why. You pick up any t-shirt from your wardrobe and you can absolutely enhance that t-shirt, make it look more expensive, more stylish and more fitted just by two simple steps. Firstly, you reduce the length of your sleeves till about here. This t-shirt is a perfect example of sleeve length. It's not so short that it makes it look feminine and it's not so long that it doesn't show off your body. It just shows off your body the correct amount. The golden rule is, if this is your shoulder, you go two fingers below your shoulder. That's where your t-shirt should touch your bicep. And the other thing you want to do is you want to tighten it just the right amount. So you want to have a little bit of space so that you can pull your t-shirt, but overall you keep it skin hugging. But moving on to tip number two, we've spoken about modifying t-shirts, let's talk about modifying pants. Now, you got to understand that style trends with pants keep changing and the current trend since about 2010 or 2012 onwards are narrow based pants. Now, what do I mean by this? So you see your regular chinos or your jeans, they look much more stylish if they have a narrow base. Around your ankle, it should be fitted. Now, what does this do for a fit guy? So just how tight sleeves show your biceps, tight and narrow bases of pants enhance your butt, your ass. Keep in mind, if you're someone who squats, you're not just working your leg, you're also working your glutes. And a good looking glute can absolutely kill it for your overall outfit. So the rule, at least for the next five years or so, is go find yourself a tailor and go tell him to narrow down all your pants. If you're someone who wears baggy jeans, that's okay. You can fix those baggy jeans by narrowing just the bottom. Find yourself a good tailor once again and get all your pants narrowed to enhance your bum. Tip number three, a huge mistake that so many fit Indian guys make is that they select the wrong size for themselves. If you're someone who goes to the gym, I get it. You like to show off your muscles. That's a natural thing for a gym goer. But in the process of showing off, a lot of guys wear extra tight clothes. Now, I completely understand the concept of showing off your body. You've earned it in the gym and you're trying to show off your hard work. That's the intention you're going with. But people who look at you wearing extra tight clothes, they don't perceive you like that. They perceive you as, his clothes are extra tight. Okay, bro, we know you're working out, but that kind of makes you look insecure. It gives out an insecure vibe. That's what you need to remember. You don't want to fall into that category. That's a big fashion mistake people make. When the process of trying to show all the muscles, they'll wear super tight pants, super tight shirts, and it just completely breaks down your whole look. Remember, with pants, the rule is that your phone should fit into your pocket and not pop out. You shouldn't see the outline of your phone. And as for t-shirts, you shouldn't ever wear something skin tight. Always leave a little bit of room for breathing space. If you're someone who doesn't lift, the golden rule when you're going to buy clothes is that you go buy clothes, you try on the size that you think fits you, and then also try on the smaller size. Fashion rule 101 is that if you can, then you always go for a slightly smaller size that sticks to your body, that hugs your body and that enhances your natural physique. Now, if you're someone who's extra skinny, this rule may not apply to you. Just select the size that you feel most comfortable in and use the sleeve hack I spoke about initially. And if you're someone who's slightly overweight, that doesn't mean you have to wear loose clothes. You can still wear slightly smaller clothes and if you want to hide the curves, you know what I mean, Wear gunjis or wear a t-shirt inside. Layer your clothes, that'll hide all your curves. And you'll also end up looking super fashionable. Next point, we're talking about collars. Do not underestimate what a collar can do to the overall look of your t-shirt. Now, a lot of fit guys make this mistake of only wearing tight round neck t-shirts because they want to show off their arms in every outfit that they're wearing. But keep in mind, just changing it up a little bit can go miles in showing off your body. If you want to show off your physique, your collar can seriously affect your game. How? Okay, so we're talking about a V-neck. Firstly, a V-neck creates an illusion in other people's minds that your back is also V-tapered. So if you want to look a little bit more buff than you actually are, go in for V-necks more often. Second, we're talking about the collars on tops like polos and shirts. You know what I'm talking about, that regular collar with slight wings on the side. Now, what does this do for your entire look? It makes your neck look more prominent. Especially if you're a skinny guy, this is a very useful tip for you because it makes your neck look thicker overall. Remember, when people are looking at you, they're not 
not looking at your abs or your chest first they're seeing your face and your neck complements your face so if you want to make your face look more muscular try making your neck look more muscular through collars a lot of fit guys don't go for shirts thinking that it doesn't enhance their muscles in any way but that's a big style mistake if you buy yourself a good slim fit shirt there's nothing as sexy as that it's way more sexy than a tight fitted t-shirt why primarily because it enhances your back it enhances your chest and your shoulders if you buy a good quality slim fit shirt it will look very sexy on you and trust me girls like shirts way more than they like any kind of t-shirt tip number 5 we're talking about pants and how to select your pants three categories if you're slim if you think you're overweight and if you think you're fit talking about the fit guys first keep in mind if you squat you have very thick thighs now the weird thing about buying clothes in india is that the cut of the clothes isn't meant for gymmers the thighs are always too narrow when you compare it to the waist if you shop in europe or usa you see that those pants are more gymmer friendly the thick near the thighs and it's proportionate to your waist but in india if you're going to be shopping in india the rule with buying pants for fit guys is that you buy it according to your thigh size if it's loose at the waist you can't help it use a belt now if you're someone who's skinny the mistake that most skinny guys make with buying pants is that they buy slim fit pants thinking that it looks classy but if you're very thin if you have very very thin legs slim fit pants enhance the thinness of your legs and that's not something that's very attractive so try buying straight cut pants that enhance the volume of your overall leg and if you're someone who's overweight like this guy do not make that mistake of going for super tight pants or super loose pants you want to go for a regular fit or a straight cut fit that is narrow at the ankle just narrowing it at the ankle does a lot for your look keep that in mind next tip we're done with pants but you have to have a few shorts in your wardrobe if you want to look stylish and the rule with wearing shorts is that you do not wear baggy shorts whatever the situation is baggy shorts are a style mistake What do you want to do? You want to wear straight cut shorts that are kind of body hugging but not tight again. Once again, you want to choose your size of shorts such that if you tuck your phone inside your shorts, it shouldn't pop out and show the whole world that you have thick thighs, but also at the same time you want to enhance your bum a little bit. So wear something that does hug your leg but at the same time it isn't so tight that it restricts your movement and it restricts your logistics. That's how you can keep your phone or your wallet inside your pants. You should wear something practical but at the same time stylish. Point number 7 slim fit shirt science what do i mean by that there's two fits for shirts regular fits and slim fits slim fits irrespective of your build will always enhance your look even if you're a super skinny guy seriously consider going for slim fit shirts once in a while a dark shade of a slim fit shirt can do a lot for your overall physique but if you're a fit guy go for a stretchy slim fit shirt not only does it enhance your physique but at the same time it also looks very classy and it's very versatile you can wear it for a lot of occasions you can wear it for parties for clubbing if you're just going out for a casual lunch and you can even wear it for some formal occasions but my point is that this is where the question of investment comes in the harsh truth is that the best kind of shirts especially the slim fit stretchy ones are a little bit on the expensive side about 2 1000 rupees or so so keep that in mind but at the same time if you want to make an investment in great clothing go buy yourself stretchy slim fit shirts which will enhance your physique remember to show off your body you don't need to wear tight short sleeves all the time you can wear some long sleeves which you fold up show off your forearms a little bit but more than that just show off your overall physique in a very classy very stylish way second last fashion tip of the video we're talking about really tiny shirt patterns You know one of these fashion trends that's come into the picture in recent times are these pattern shirts and why do they work for a fit guy or for any guy in general is because they have these little tiny detail patterns and because those patterns are so tiny yet so detailed they enhance your overall body your shoulders your back your chest ends up looking much more wide than it actually is thanks to those little patterns so if you're going on a date and if you want to enhance your physique a little bit impress them ladies with a shirt on and also look stylish at the same time go for a stylish pattern shirt that you can tuck in or you can tuck out and wear with shorts definitely consider buying this it's in fashion right now and it's a winner when it comes to the ladies and that brings me to my final point this isn't really fashion related this is just a quick fitness tip remember when people meet you for the first time in their first impression of you they don't notice your chest back or legs as much as they notice your arms so if you want to enhance your physique and if you're not not someone who goes to the gym 
Just do a little bit of bicep work, a little bit of tricep work and definitely do some forearm work. If you want to enhance your body a little bit, even if you're not someone who lifts weights, I highly recommend you go and check out my beginner's workout series. I'll also link those videos down below. It's just basic movements to help you enhance your arms even if you're not someone who goes to the gym. So the two quick tips when it comes to doing forearms is that you want to work both the sides of the forearms. Remember, this is the movement that works your forearms. So you just take a basic pair of dumbbells at home, hold it behind your bum and move your wrist the way I'm showing you. This forearm workout works your flexors, which is the inside of your forearm. But if you want to work the outside, you just do the opposite motion. So for the flexor, you're doing this motion. For the extensor, you're doing this motion. You just take a basic pair of dumbbells at home, work on your forearm a lot and it'll do a lot for your style game. Remember, even if you're not someone who goes to the gym regularly, once a week or twice a week of lifting basic weights at home can do a lot for your physique. So if you're someone who wants to learn more about how to lift weights, make sure you check out my beginner's workout series. But if you're someone who's just on beer biceps for the fashion tips, make sure you check out the men's style playlist. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember, each of your thumbs ups adds to how my channel grows. So if you support my content, hit that like button and Ranveer will see you later.